In this demonstration, we would like to show you the config compare uh, for a uh, device. Uh, basically, it's under the detailed uh, config compare, and you get two options, the detailed config compare and the config compare. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, we have created two devices. Um, the first device has the IP address 10.14.46.2. The other device has an IP address of 10.14.46.3, so there is a difference in the IP addresses. Also, one of them we named it Training Net uh, No uh, Echo, and the other one we named it uh, just uh, Training. Uh, for this one, we went into the uh, another change that we did is we went into uh, the application for um, uh, LAN manager and we changed it into uh, no echo so that's the basically the difference we know the difference between it but just to show you uh, how this tool work is very helpful in the field sometimes you find yourself uh, in a situation where you downloaded a configuration or you uploaded a configuration from a device and you have the SHX file and you're not sure why is that whether that's different from what you have or is there any um, uh, um, changes. So I will go to the simple uh, demo first where I show you an identical configuration where I've downloaded to the device, I've uploaded the SHX file. I just want to compare against the SHX file that I just uploaded for the same device. So the device name is training and I've uploaded its uh, SHX file. I could do a config compare and I would compare it against an SHX or a UPL file. If I click OK, it asks me for where is the SHX file. I'm just going to say it's training.shx and I would click OK. And if the comparison takes place, it should come back and say both devices are identical. There is no difference because that's the exact same thing. At this point, you could uh, print or you could go to the detailed uh, comparison or you could save uh, this uh, comparison to your hard drive. Right, so I'll click exit in here. Of course, if I do a quick detailed, uh, a quick comparison against the, this device, um, it will point out uh, the, the changes uh, from that device, uh, basically in the uh, B100 IP address has been changed. So if I go, it came back and it said there is changes in the B100 and the B119 and we expect that because in the B119 we changed the um, echo, we disabled it and in the B100 the IP address is different. Um, what I would like to show you is you could go to show the details and it will show you uh, this very row um, uh, hex comparison between the two tables and even when we go to the comparison if we're scrolling through it uh, we can see that the b100 table is different and the b119 is different okay so this is a very um, quick way to see whether the configurations do match uh, whether there is a difference in the configuration if you want to do a detailed uh, configuration using the xml uh, setup instead of the um, instead of the device's uh, SHX file, you have to do a detailed config compare. And this is more uh, friendly, uh, more uh, uh, verbose uh, uh, config uh, comparison. Uh, so we click on the training and I want to compare it against uh, this device. And if I click OK, it will start to uh, compare all aspects of the two uh, devices. Right, and it will provide me with uh, this XML uh, comparison. Um, as you can see in here, um, I could uh, collapse uh, or see all uh, all uh, the nodes, all the changes uh, between the nodes. Now, very quickly, it shows up in a compact uh, mode, which means that it will show me only the differences between the two devices. So I can see very quickly that the ICMP echo field which is in b119.config has been changed from enable to disable 
um, I can see that the IP address is different uh, between the two devices that the host name has been overridden so the, there was an override in the host name because well, as you know, if the host name is beyond 14 characters, we have to put an override uh, for it. It shows me that uh, the, the configuration version. So it's a very detailed, um, every little detail is captured and is put in here. Uh, if you want to see all the parameters, you can also see all the parameters uh, in here in the non-compact mode so this is whether the parameters match or don't match it will show you all the parameters or you can uh, view it in the uh, compact mode in an xml uh, format editor um, if if you would like to print this to keep a record of it uh, you can go to the print and here you could export uh, this printout either to a PDF or a, an Excel format. Um, make sure you set up your paper to the proper uh, type if you want to see it uh, uh, continuous, not in a portrait. So to do that, I would go to file page setup, right? And uh, I would set it to, um, if I like, I could set it to uh, 11 by 17 and uh, set it to a landscape and uh, that would fix uh, the page type now I could uh, say export the document either as a PDF at HTML uh, the uh, CSV file a text file an image file so I'm just gonna export it as a PDF and if I click OK of course you can set up all the uh, aspects of a PDF and if I say compare Click save. It will prompt me. Do I want to open the file after I save it? I will say yes, and uh, I can see the comparison. I have a record of it on um, on my folder. Okay, so uh, there is many uh, things that you could do. You could uh, send an email of the comparison. Uh, let's say you're dealing with a uh, technical support or an engineering uh, system and you can see it. Um, in the in the navigation you could go to the next change or you can go to the previous uh, change right and uh, also you can expand or collapse all the nodes uh, for a quick expand and collapse and uh, that's a very useful tool for comparing uh, two devices uh, configuration thank you for uh, watching this demonstration